In this episode, we're going to start our new project of Rallyman GT. So sit back and enjoy because I'm Pete and this is Board Game Refab. In this episode, we're starting a new series with a new format. And what we're going to do is start chronological order from the beginning of the project to the very end when it's ready to hit the table. So start your engines, because we're ready to go. First we need to make a template, and what I'm using is 060 polystyrene. It's sometimes called plastic card. Once you get that template made, we're going to cut out the foam. The most important thing is that you just hold it with firm pressure, and you cut with a bit of an angle so that the edges match up nicely. We're using a hot wire cutter to cut this part of the project, and it's really just electricity run through a thin wire that heats up and melts the foam. Next is a template for the roads. The way I did this is I took the original tiles and scanned them into the computer. I test printed them several times until I got that size just right. Just print two copies and make sure it's on cardstock so we have a little bit of stiffness. Now we have those templates glued onto the foam core, we just have to cut out those roads. A couple of things to keep in mind is that we want to switch to fresh blades often. When we're cutting the sides of the road, it's really important to pick a common distinguishing line. For example, what I chose is the white stripe on the outside of the road. Cut on the outside of that white stripe, and then that way, when I go to cut out the sidewalks later on, I cut on that same white stripe so those pieces match up perfectly. So the first cut, all you really want to do is just go barely through the paper. Make sure it's a nice clean cut, and then later, you're basically just going to use that cut as a guide. Make a few passes, and then once it's completely loose, make sure you mark the tile number on the actual road section. To glue these road pieces that we've cut out to the actual foundation, I used a hot glue gun because it dries quick and it won't melt the foam like a lot of super glues do. If you make a mistake here, just make sure you peel up and start over. In this part, it's really easy to fix, so don't worry about it, though the alignment is key. So start with an easy one. Pick either a perfectly straight piece or a very sharp curve. The curve will basically align itself by matching up those road edges and the edges of the tile. And the straight can be measured really easily to make sure it's in the dead center. Once you've, the first one is glued down, just take measurements to each edge from the road to the corner then repeat those measurements on the remaining tiles. I use calipers to do this measurement, but a ruler will work just fine. The next step is cutting the road grooves, and we use the same technique as before when we cut the roads, but this time, we're not going to go completely through the material. These grooves create the movement spaces in the game, so precision is really key here. Once we have all those grooves cut into the road, we're just going to peel that paper off. But don't worry about any damage to the foam that occurs because we're going to rough it up anyway. And after that paper's peeled away, we're going to deepen those grooves with a colored pencil. At this point, we want to sort of rough up the road to make it look a little more natural. I use 60 grit sandpaper for this, and the key is to make it not look too uniform. Also, be careful not to round the edges off too much. Here we're just making a repeat of the templates we used for the roads. The material we're using for the sidewalks is called craft foam. The thickness I chose is 6mm so that it stands just proud of the roads. Once those templates are glued down, we're going to cut out the sidewalks just like we did with the roads. Make sure you swap out blades often because this foam dulls the blades quickly. Use the same distinguishing line that we used on the roads and precision is key on all of these cuts. We're going to glue these down using the same method as we did earlier. Just make sure we line up to the road and the edges. The craft foam stretches a bit if you need it to, so if you have a little spot where it doesn't match up quite right, just stretch it a bit as you put that glue down. When you're done laying it all out, there will be some spots where you'll need to clean up the edges of the hexes. Any extreme overhang will cause the tiles to not match up quite right when we put them all together in the end. Just make sure it's flush with the foam foundation. Now that we have the sidewalk and the roads glued down to the surface, we got to make that sidewalk look more like a sidewalk. So the first step we're going to do is cut in some curves. Cut a line just a few millimeters off the edge of the sidewalk. Once you get that line cut, you're going to just cut expansion joints along that line perpendicular. They should be evenly spaced, 
but they don't need to be perfect. Next, we're adding expansion joints to all of the sidewalks. I used the width of a ruler as a spacing. This made it super easy to line them up and keep the spacing consistent. Just make sure that the direction of these cuts is consistent from tile to tile. I screwed this up a couple times, but it's not a huge deal because a lot of the joints are going to get covered anyway. But do your best to make it as consistent as possible throughout the entire board. Next, we're going to deepen those grooves just like we did before. The only difference here is we're going to need to go both directions, especially where there's a joint. You'll notice that it'll fold in the corners a little bit, but if you go back the opposite direction, it'll unfold those corners. So now that we have all of the sculpting and shaping done, we got to add a base coat to the roads and the sidewalk. Just make sure you use really well thinned paint and lots of thin coats for good coverage. We want to make sure that base coat is even and similar throughout the entire project. It'll really help us as we add dry brushing in the next step. Dry brushing is still my favorite part of most projects. The only thing here is you're going to start with the dark colors and you're going to continue with lighter and lighter shades and more and more coats of those light shades until it looks right. The other key is to make sure that there's a good contrast between the road, which needs to be dark to simulate tarmac, and the sidewalk that needs to be a little bit lighter to simulate concrete. We're going to use some of that Durham's rock hard water putty like we did on the last project. The key to mixing this stuff is that you want the consistency to be somewhere between peanut butter and pudding. Keep in mind that as you're adding this material to the actual project, less is more. Also, do whatever you can to keep it off of the sidewalks. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and follow us on social media to get all of our updates. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back and thanks so much for the support. If you like what you saw, make sure you like and comment down below because we'd love to hear about it. Next time we're going to show you some scratch building for a few of the structures on the game, so stay tuned for that. But that's all I've got for now because I'm Pete and this was Board Game Rebound.